What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to apply a vector texture in Adobe Illustrator. And to do this, you're going to need an object and a texture. Textures can be obtained from Google or you can make your own. For example, I just got an image from Google and then image traced it and selected one color and made it white. It's important it's white. Now vector textures are fairly hard to do. There's many ways to do them, but the best way, in my opinion, to get a non-destructive result is to use a transparency mask. Transparency masks can be found on a window and go down to transparency. Or you can shift, shift control F10 or shift command F10 on Mac, which is what I'm on. I've got it highlighted here because I use it quite a lot because it's a very useful tool. Anyway, I'm going to go to my type, which is going to be a subject. I want the mask, the texture to be applied to. And I've just made it an outline just to make it a bit easier. Now I'm going to make the mask by clicking make mask on my transparency window. If you can't find it, go down and go to more options on the transparency window. Now we've got this applied, we're going to copy the texture, command C, go back to the type, which is invisible, so you have to reach around and go to the black box on the transparency window, command V, this will paste the texture. Once the texture has been pasted in the transparency window, you'll see the type is now visible with a pattern on top of it. We can drag the image and manipulate it in any way we want, almost like an isolated layer on the type to get the effect we want. Now we can, all we can do is edit this. We can't get off this. To get back to the main window, we have to click on the white box, so it's click to stop editing the opacity mask. Click on that, and now we're back. We can manipulate the type and move it around in any way we see fit. You can see that it's def it's an alpha channel now, rather than um, just, a, just placed over the top, if you get what I'm saying. If you want to go back and edit it, just double click, or not even that, just click on the transparency window again, go back to a black box, and move it around in any way, shape, or form you wish. For example, I might just drag this and make it really big. Like that. Look terrible, but it works. Okay, for white box again, and I'm back to the type. That is how you apply a transparency mask, a texture, a vector texture, in a non destructive fashion in Adobe Illustrator. I'm Absorb. Thanks for watching.